Hi, my name is John and this is Business Focus. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to test for analysis on variance, in particular factorial designs or experiments. So let's get started. And we're back. In today's video, we'll be discussing primarily how to use analysis of variance or ANOVA using factorial experiments. Now, in our previous video, I strongly suggest you check it out how to do analysis of variance using single factor or even two factor ANOVA here. Now, in this instance, in this particular uh, example, we'll be using factorials. And the distinction for using factorial experiments in ANOVA is finding the different iterations, different combinations, uh, finding out if there's any difference based on the different uh, factors, uh, single factor, the dual factor, and the different layers that it entails here. So we'll take a look at an example of a data set to better illustrate the problem here. So let's see here. So we have here a uh, an example of a productivity output from the different employees in the different locations of a particular company here. So it ranges for 5.1 all the way to 6.5, 6.4. So what we're trying to find out in ANOVA is if there's any difference in terms of performance here, uh, whether it's single factor, the different location, or uh, in terms of the different departments of the company here. So to be able to identify that, we will be using single factor ANOVA. Now, let's use descriptive analysis first to see if there's any difference at all. Now, in terms of location, so let's find the average. see what's the outcome so as you can see here the the result of the averages from the different location varies so manila and malabon has close proximity on the other hand makati has the lowest so one would surmise based on observation that they are different from one another so we'll test that later on if our observation uh, is the same as what we will confirm in our test later on now, in terms of department here, so the different rows, so we're going to get the average as well. So let's see what's the result. So again, in this instance, you can see that the averages for the different uh, department ranges even more varied from 5.5 all the way to 6.23. So it's uh, there's a wide variety and again, Based on observation, what would surmise that there is a significant difference amongst the different employees within the different departments here. So let's test using factorial experiments to, to confirm whether indeed what we see or observe is actually uh, true or not. Okay, so let's try and zoom out a bit. Okay, then let's go back and let's run factorial experiment. So in order to do that, so simply go to data tabs, select data analysis, and select analysis of variance two factor with replication. Uh, you may notice the single factor obviously uh, pertains to the one way ANOVA. Then the two factor without replication pertains to the two way ANOVA here. So let's select a uh, two factor with replication. So you'll be asked to input the data set. So make sure to include the heading of the department as well as the different location and select the data here. So don't select the, the averages in the rows and columns here. Now, the next part you'll be asked uh, to input the rows per sample. So the rows pertaining to the different departments here from the sales and marketing. Now, one would be tempted to say there are two rows or two categories here, but not the rows. Uh, we're talking here of how many rows per category here. So in this case, whether it's sales or marketing, there are three employees selected in this uh, test here or survey. So we input three here and then the alpha. So if it's not given, so we use 0 0.05 or 95% uh, confidence level. And then you'll be asked where do you want to, uh, the output to be displayed. So you have the option of using a new worksheet. But for purposes today, let's use the same worksheet. So you have to select a blank cell. So you'll be able to get the result here. Let's go. Oops. Let's move a 
adjust the files okay here okay so our goal now is to find out whether the the outcome okay let's hide this one so we can see better hopefully can we see the output <laughs> So what we're interested is in the ANOVA output in the last table here. So what we're trying to find out is based on the different inputs or different uh, in uh, different result from the sample to the columns all the way to the interaction. So those are the th three key information that we're interested in. So the first is the sample. So you can see here the p-value stands at 0 0.004 and the F test here is 12.55 or 56 or 60 whichever value uh, you want to round it off now since the p-value is less than 0 0.05 meaning the different uh, employees in the different department uh, we observe that they are different and since our conclusion here is to reject the null hypothesis meaning the different departments uh, or the different employees are different from one another. So it confirmed what we already saw in the observed data here. Okay, so let's continue. Oops, what the heck? There you go. Now, for the second part, now we'll take a look at the columns result here. So you can see here that the F test value is 11.7 and the P value again is less than 0 0.05. This pertains to the different location here. So we were observing earlier that the, with the exception of Manila and Malabon have close or similar averages of productivity. Makati has a different value or a lo significantly lower value. Uh, we would speculate that different from one another, right? And based on the conclusion, again, less than 0 0.05 yields a conclusion of reject the null hypothesis. Meaning that there is significant difference among the different locations. Uh, so meaning based on the single and two factor uh, 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 factor that we analyze here using ANOVA, it yielded the same result that there is a significant difference. Now, here's the interesting part. If we were to iterate, meaning use different combinations, since you have uh, three locations, that's three, then you have two layers or two departments, uh, two categories in the department level, meaning sales and uh, marketing. So you multiply two times three, that would yield six combination. And this is what the summary of that combination would look like based on the averages and the different variants here. So let's take a look at the output here in the ANOVA table. So if you were to see, look closely, the F value test or F test is 1.49 or 1.5. But the interesting here is the p-value. So let's highlight that. So you notice here the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, meaning our conclusion is do not reject the null hypothesis. Now, what does this mean when you reject the null hypothesis? Which implies that given the different, uh, what do you call this? Given the different uh, locations, different employees, uh, within the department uh, yielded no significant difference at all which is pretty uh, interesting considering that in our first two tests we found out that there is a difference and yet mixing the different uh, combinations of the location and the uh, different departments and uh, dif uh, the number of employees within the different departments yielded a completely different outcome here so what does this imply based on the data that was provided? So if you're a decision maker, let's say you're the manager or the regional director of this company that handles the different locations uh, in the Luzon area, or in particular in Metro Manila. So let's take a closer look again on the data set here. So you can better see here. So if you were to look closely, so there's no difference among the different productivity levels, right? But if we were to do some data visualization techniques here, you would clearly see that given the different department from sales and marketing, sales tend to do 
much worse compared to the marketing department. And if you look at the different locations, uh, Manila, the location Manila and in Malabon tends to do better compared to Makati. So what's the rationale why uh, the, the sales in Makati tends to do much worse compared to uh, the marketing you know, uh, people in Manila tends to do uh, a better job of being more productive here. So one can take a look as to what's the cost based on this one so that uh, any decision maker could see that obviously maybe the, the, the position uh, is a factor or there's a difference. Uh, maybe the nature of job, the location matters as well here. So if you're looking for a problematic aspect, you want to take a look here. Why is it that the salesperson one and two here in Makati is not doing well? So you want to improve on that. On the flip side, you want to focus on what the employees in Manila in market, uh, marketing employee one and two, in particular, uh, marketing employee one in Malabon. What's their secret in being able to be uh, to, to do their job uh, much better than compared to the rest here? So these insights will give you hopefully. Uh, help you make a better decision in terms of how to manage your employees, uh, improve or uh, maximize and utilize those strengths that uh, you are able to uh, generate based on the data we've collected here. And that concludes our video for today. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to help continue support this channel and hopefully help this channel grow and we're getting closer to 1000 subscribers. Also, if you have any questions with regards to our video today or any videos that you've watched in this channel, don't forget to leave your comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, you can you know leave your comments and make suggestions as to what topics you want to uh, what, what to be discussed for future references to help you aid in your academic uh, learnings in your universe in different universities in different classes or different courses. And I'll try my best to be able to answer all of those queries. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.